this is live, <laughs> this is interactive, this is happening right now. You can hashtag Safari Live or you can chat to us on the YouTube. And it'll be great to hear from all of you today. But isn't this a, a lovely scene? Beautiful white fluffy clouds in the sky and of course the darkness of the buffalo. I wonder where they're going to go next. They look like they've been sleeping for most of the day and it's like I said it's been exceptionally hot so I don't think there would have been too many animals moving around. Everyone would have been just hanging around in the shade and the mud doing all those wonderful things to try and keep nice and cool. Now, Jared, you're wondering if the buffalo horns are made of hair. Well, theoretically, yes, they are. It's keratin. So it's just compacted um, fibers of hair, and um, it creates that wonderful hard sort of shell that they have on top of their heads. Now, the other day I was staring at a wildebeest, and hopefully we'll see a wildebeest so I can show you this. And I feel like a buffalo's horns, you know, sits on its head and it's in proportion to the rest of its body. Whereas if you look at a wildebeest, it looks like they've put on a hat that's way too small for their heads. It always sits on a bizarre spot, but hopefully we'll find one and then I'll show you exactly what I mean. And there's lots of oxpeckers also jumping about on the backs of the buffalo. Who have we got there? Are you a yellow-billed or are you a red-billed oxpecker? You are a red-billed oxpecker. That's the first red-billed oxpecker I've actually seen since I've been here. I've only been seeing yellow-billed, so that's nice. And if you're wondering how on earth I can tell the difference between the two, we'll quickly just recap. But you can see it's got a yellow... Well, you, you could have seen. <laughs> oh, it's just landed on the next one. It has a yellow ring around its eye, an orbital ring. And then also its beak is completely red. Uh, the yellow-billed oxpecker is a lot more robust. It's bigger than the red-billed oxpecker. It's got quite a bit of yellow on the beak, and it lacks that yellow orbital ring. Ring. They're quite easy to see, but if we see some more, we can obviously go through the differences a little bit more closely. Are you guys going to come back and wallow? No? Uh, Mr. Hummercorp, though, is very, very happy in its pan. I can't imagine what would be living in there, though, other than maybe some ticks that have drowned and fallen off the buffalo, but they wouldn't be living in there. They'd be dying and drowning. And it's more like slush and, you know, gunk, really, than water which is where you'll see frogs living in there. You know, you might have little inv other invertebrates swimming around, but that does not seem like the case. I mean, like, you can barely see that what's left of that water rippling. But who knows, maybe there's the odd frog or something lurking about in the grass, and that Hummercorp is waiting for it to make a grave mistake and expose itself. Isn't that cool? Right, but let's carry on. We're blocking a major intersection and I don't want to oh it's just it's Jamie wait let's say hello to Jamie let me reposition quickly I'm gonna block her now let's see what she's gonna think about this here we go doesn't she look so fetching with her lovely hat there's Craig sippy cup in hand oh this is Miss Africa driving towards us <laughs> give us a queen wave Jamie give us a queen wave <laughs> I'm hiding from you I was just saying that you, your new title is Miss Africa Pardon? Miss Africa Miss Africa yeah Miss Kenya oh, very look at that lovely sippy cup what's in that sippy cup Jamie <laughs> Oh, wonderful. I feel we have a lot of those, eh? Yeah. Tea and the generic Yeah. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry would be very good at doing that. Even Rebecca. Or Rebecca. Sorry. Stir. Okay. I'm watching you on the monitor. Now I could be looking at you in real life and I'm like such a habit. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy, and um, ho uh, we'll let you know if we find anything this way. Okay, cool. Bye, Craig. There's Bye. Cutthroat Craig looking dangerous. <laughs> Bye. Uh, that's so funny. Here we go. Off they go. Oh, no, I'm rolling and the brakes don't work. Oh, oh we've got to really use the clutch control. Wonderful. Well, there we go. You've seen Miss Jamie now, ready on her safari adventure. She's going to be spending most of the night out, barring the weather. Let's hope it stays nice and clear. And well, speaking of Jamie, we're not going to go very far. I'm going to send you straight across to her in the other car.